Hey guys, I have tried to film this video like a hundred times and I just keep getting sidetracked so I'm going to jump straight into it. I was kindly sent a package from Hybrid Herbs who I actually talk to quite a lot on Twitter and they were asking me if I'd tried any of their tea. No, they asked me they were asking me if I went to VegFest and I was like, yeah. Um, I did actually and they were saying we, we've been going through our feed we noticed your post about vitamins which I posted on Twitter and you know because uh, I'd read an article in the paper that Louis sent me actually about how bad vitamins are for you um, so I was like yeah I've you know I tried it um, no put my hand about <laughs> sorry as you can see by the time it's really late and I'm tired anyway I was like no, I didn't get to try any of your tea because I remember at VegFest they had a sign up saying free teas this way and I remember their store was heaving, there was so many people and I was like, oh what's going on over there, I need to get involved in this um, and I was really gutted that I didn't get to try tea so when they said they wanted to send something to me I was like, oh my day, so I thought right, I'm totally going to do this on camera because this is the first time anyone's ever sent something to me and I think it's like my first review that I've ever done, so uh, it's going to be really exciting. I don't know what they sent me, I think they sent me a tea, so they asked me if I like green tea, and I was like, actually, I'm really into the TikTok tea. It's just this organic one, um, green tea, naturally caffeine free, and I have, it's my new thing, I have it with uh, ice. I have I put use the filtered water from the fridge and we put a wedge of lemon in there and we have uh, I put it in my flask my um, silver flask. But if I keep looking there and I'm not looking there, it's because I'm using my phone um, and my phone's actually cracked. So I don't know what it's going to be like. But I'm going to try and not look at myself, which is really hard because I can't actually see the little thing here. But I think that's where I'm supposed to look. So I'm going to keep trying to look there. But um. Let's boil up the kettle, see, and we shall get our um, mug ready. I'm going to use my little, actually, let's be really hot and we say, add a in Ready. Oh my gosh, this totally doesn't go. Blue of pink, oh well. It kind of goes. So I have my mug ready. I'm just going to go and get some scissors. So, basically, to give you a bit more I don't know where you can hear me. In fact, you know what? I might pause and wait for the kettle to boil because I think that's probably a better idea. Okay, so I've boiled the kettle and now I'm going to open the package. And let's hope I do this right because if I have to refilm this one more time, I've had to do this video like a million times, then I would have already opened and it won't be as authentic. So, this is the first time I've seen it. I'm so excited. But um, literally, it got here so quickly. They were like, um, okay, it's all sent. Uh, should, you know, let us know how, uh, you know, if you've received it, received it and everything. And the next day, I had a knock at the door and I was like, who's that? And it was my parcel, I couldn't believe it. It came with the Royal Mail. So it was really, really good. So here we have a little letter. Oh. Thank you for shopping with Hybrid Herbs. Here at Hybrid Herbs, we pride ourselves on providing our customers with the best products from around the world at affordable prices. It is you, the customer, that is our number one priority. If for any reason you are not entirely happy with your purchase, please do not hesitate to contact us via phone. Regards, Kieran. So this is my little note. Um, okay, and then here is the bottle. Yay! Open. How fun. So I looked them up and 
you know, they seem like a great company. And now that I've been sent this, I'm probably going to be repurchasing because as soon as I seen 100% vegan, 100% natural, I was sold. Like, so I will probably, wow, I can smell it already. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my days! Moonlit matcha, organic Japanese, green tea, organic, sushi, vegan, organic. This is, like he said, it's glass. He was like, so, you know, I hope it held up well. Um, let me see this. Moonlit matcha is made from 100% Japanese tea leaves ground into a powder. Matcha has been treasured in Japan for thousands of years, where it is believed to increase alertness, boost the immune system, and promote overall well-being. About our matcha, our organic ceremony matcha is the highest quality and comes from the famous Yuji region of Japan. Directions. Simply add one... Cause <laughs> anyway, with it. One quarter to half teaspoon to warm, not boiling, ah, whisk, and once frothy, frothy, consume immediately. Ingredients, 100% organic matcha green tea. Mmm, <gasps> this is going to be many things, I can totally tell. And um, they also have, like, mushroom drinks, which apparently um, taste a lot nicer than they sound, is what the guy said. And I saw, like, they have all superfoods and things like that, so I'm really into the whole superfood things. And I have the chia in my porridge and all that lot but oh okay so let's go and get a teaspoon I think that should be about warm I don't know if that's going to be too boiling actually as usual I haven't charged my phone before doing this so I hope I don't run out of lemon battery so let's try and it smells like chocolate. Wow. Look at this green inside. Wow, it goes with the kitchen. How on earth are you even able to see this? Like, let me show you. Okay, I probably should have tried to use a different camera here. Never mind. Right, I'm going to use... A, mm, I'm going to use about that much. And then I'm going to put it in my cup, which is here. I hope that's enough. Ooh. Oh, so posh. It's 100% organic. And I was reading online that the guy, he um, wasn't very well. And he, he, had, he was very tired and things. And um, let's use this little saucepan. Um, and he went on a hunt for, you know, uh, a remedy. And to... It was Japan, it must be because this is Japanese. And um, he discovered this. So I wonder if this is too, I might have made it too boiling. Yeah, I think I should have waited for a while. I'm sure I'll still be able to taste. Ah, <laughs> we're going to do this. Okay. <coughs> Put that there. Oh, it's green. Go to the kitchen. Did I get a spoon? I did. I'm going to use a spoon then. Right, so. I have a feeling I shouldn't. I should have waited a bit because it's, it said not boiling, did not it? Oh well. Wow, it's now smelling like kind of like. I tell you how it smells. It smells like runner beans when they're being boiled. So it smells like you know greens. You know your greens. So it doesn't smell like that. It has like a really sweet chocolatey smell in the old pot in the tub and now it smells like veg yeah so really leafy <laughs> I hope I haven't ruined it I'm sure the guy said something about not leaving not making it too hot but yeah so look them up give it a try if you're into that sort of thing. Anything that gives me more energy, I'm all for. Seriously, like, I'm always looking for more energy. I, I'm, I've been uh, getting a lot of my energy from kale, so I'm all for that, you know, anything. I feel like, I, I think I've said it before, um, yeah, I've mentioned it a few times. Sorry, I'm totally not with it. I'm 
really do need to go to bed. I think at my granddad's, we were chatting till like 12, 12 a.m. But um, and then I had to drive back in the dark. Oh, I hate it. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying a gluten-free diet. Something is making me. I've just been chatting to my granddad. See, I do have energy, but he's like, you don't have the right energy because I've seen I'm still up and I'll probably be up for another three hours doing things. Um, and then I have to get up early to do my parcels. So. And I'm running around doing the tidying and things like that. So I do have energy, but my granddad's saying it's not the right kind of energy and you're barely going. I do feel like I'm running around on, like, nothing. I feel like a car that's on the sludge, driving around on the sludge with the petrol light on. That is how I feel. Like, I am I could just flop down any minute. But I'm going to give this a go. Mmm, I like it. But I'll be honest with you, I'm biased. <laughs> anything that's organic and everything, anything that's 100% natural and 100% vegan, that I'm sold. Uh, like, as soon as I seen that or I heard that, I knew this was going to be good. And anything that, you know, enhances alertness and is good for you, why wouldn't this be good for you, you know? I like it. It is so different to normal green tea bags. This is like, this is like vegetables, which I love, as you know, broccoli, one of my favourite, can't get enough broccoli. This is like drinking a liquid, a warm, a nice warm liquid form of broccoli. Love it. Really, really nice. I really like it. It's got a lot of, uh, it's so funny how different it is now to how it smells in the tub. You think that it's going to be really sort of sweet and sort of chocolatey or something like that, or like, you know, eating some form of cake, but this is like having an actual dinner with, you know, a plate full of greens. Mmm, I really like it. I just keep thinking of like runner beans and broccoli and things like that. I'm not very good at describing taste. Let's give it another stir. It's got a really, really nice, rich green colour. Let me try and give you an example. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Actually, let's tilt the camera and see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this without losing the video that I've just made. There we go. Put you down gently. <sighs> I wish you could like see what your battery's saying whilst you're filming. And I haven't been looking here. I'm sorry. I'm like a vain person that's just looking at themselves. Right. I must look here. This little dot. Okay. Um. Yes. So it's kind of like this. This kind of colour, green. And let's get them up on the old thingy. Okay, about us. I sit really loud. <laughs> we are delighted to bring you the highest quality all natural medicinal mushrooms, tonic herbs and superfoods you can trust. Our goal is to bring you to natural products that are of the highest quality are 100% natural, 100% vegan and cruelty free. In fact, let me, let me show you, let me show you. Okay, I'm going to turn you around and hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay, so there's the thing, hybrid herbs. It's a little man. My overall well-being and good health. What our customers think. Genuine testimonial video. Oh, sorry. Hybrid Herbs began as a small herbal business by Kieran who went to China in his youth after, de after debilitating illness, left him weak and fatigued. He was prescribed cord cordyceps mushrooms and his health improved almost instantly. Delighted he brought back various medicinal mushrooms to his friends and family. Together we started to provide them locally at fairs and small events. Over the years our issue came with preparation times of medicinal mushrooms. To really recap the benefits of mushrooms, one must boil them for hours on end, which is both time consuming and sometimes not practical. We decided to produce 10 to 1 concentrated extracts of medicinal mushrooms. But yeah, I mean you can you can read this yourself and 
We love animals and are very much committed to supporting organisations who raise awareness and money for their welfare. So that's how I got chatting to them, actually, um, on Twitter, which is a great place to chat to people uh, on, so, you know, so, social uh, networking um, has literally changed my life. Like, if it wasn't for Instagram and YouTube, I might possibly still be eating animals. And to me, because it's been so long now, it is, it is as barbaric as, like, having cat on my plate. Like, someone cooking up Garfi and putting them on, plunking them on a plate. Well, what is the difference? All animals are the same. Like, seriously, I couldn't even... To me, it's like eating baby or something like in a bowl it's just it's just barbaric couldn't do it so anyway thank god for social networking and you know lots of facebook raising awareness and oh my jumper let me show you my jumper i love this this is the one that my friend got me never be silent find your voice for animals peter i love this hoodie but yeah Anyway, so I'll chat to them about that, and they were kind enough to send this, send this to me, and I really just wanted to share it with you. And I thought it'd be a really fun experience to open something on camera and give it a go. Yeah, simply add one quarter teaspoon to warm, not boiling, whisk and once frothy, ah. I didn't make it frothy. Do you know what? I wonder if I should do another, another one. See, that's still going to be boiling. Hmm. I might give another, another mug a go. Let's see if I can get enough battery out of this. Let's put this in a little cup this time. Right, I'm going to give... I'm going to put it in my little cup. Yeah, I'm going to put... What's that? Right. I am going to put... Okay, my laptop. Right. A bit more in. And I wonder if that is still going to be too hot. It probably is, isn't it? Let's just put a little tiny bit... Let's just put a little tiny bit. I don't want to use it. Oh, this will last me for years. Okay. And then we're going to make it frothy, which is what I didn't do last time. Have another look. Let me show you again. Oops. How cacanted am I right now? Okay, be back. Is that where you are? So, please excuse my face full of spots. Of all the days to decide to be on camera, I don't have full of spots. Okay, let's put a bit more in. And we're going to make it frothy. You know, I don't think I put enough in. Keep whisking. So you don't normally get tea going frothy. Yeah, again, it's like it's like boiling up greens is what it's like. I love that. But you really do need to whisk it, I suppose. To get all the flavours out, I'd imagine. I'm going to pause you and then uh, come back. I'm back. I hope I'm actually in the shop. Oh gosh, okay. Right, let's give this one another go. Okay, yeah, so the water is definitely not as hot as it was. But there wasn't too much difference in flavour. I really like it, it's really nice. It's not like anything I've ever had before, like literally. No, that is not like anything I've ever had because 
you know, if you was to drink the water, the boiling water that you'd use to boil your veg, it wouldn't taste like this. Like this is actually like a meal in the form of a hot drink. <laughs> it's amazing. But I do think you do need to give it a good old whisk, which makes it even more fun. One of my favourite things about tea is the old stirring of the spoon. But yes, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And maybe you might want to give this a try. Or if you have a health break in the family, this would be a great gift. Um, I, think, I think this is about 20 odd pounds. So it is quite pricey. And I was very lucky to be sent this. Like, seriously, I've, I've never been saying anything like this before. Yeah, the Moonlit Matcha Organic Japanese Green Tea is £22.97. So, it, you know, it is it, it is quite pricey, but it's so, it, you know, you just heard, it's so good for you. Um, and anything that can give me more energy and things like that. So this would be a, a really good gift for, like, your mum or something for Mother's Day. And I imagine... Oh, your dad, I imagine this will last a long time because you only need a small teaspoon. So, let you know, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. I could go and find, I don't do that, I'm, I don't even know where I'm looking. Sorry, I'm probably all over the place. But um, let me know if you uh, would like me to do more review style videos. But I just feel like I don't really know how to describe the taste. But um, it's quite fun opening things and then seeing it for the first time with you guys. Uh, and not knowing what to expect. So I really enjoyed that. But uh, yeah, maybe I could go and buy a few things in the store um, that you were thinking about trying but didn't know whether to. And then see what it's like. Uh, Obviously, it would have to be vegan things, but it doesn't have to be organic stuff. So I don't eat everything organic. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I shall spin. No, let's end. Let's not end on the teapot or teacup. Let it very nice. Let's end on this. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, I'm contemplating whether I should have even done this video now. A huge butt on my face. I think it's a bite. I'm not making excuses. I feel like it's a bite. It was all itching and it swelled up. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Bye everyone.